What's up? It is Pacifers One. We are jumping into part two, continuing on Hogwarts. This is being recorded live on Twitch. So if you want to catch the next one live, be sure to follow me on Twitch at Pacifers One. Come hang out, have a good time, you know, make you a nice little drink, talk in the chat. And hey, if you see that you're ahead of me in this game and you're going through your playthrough, just jump jump into my Twitch stream. Watch me go through parts you've already done while you're playing and, and you know, have a good time. Maybe you can help me if you're a Ravenclaw. Come drop in and help me because I got some questions. Hey, let's get right back into Hogwarts and hopefully there's a lot more we can do. Not as much dialogue, a little bit more exploring. That would be great. But we looking good. You know, I thought I'd dress up the part, you know. We've got the wand on deck. Queenie Goldstein's wand. And then, yeah, yeah, we got the Marauder's map. Just in case we get lost, which, uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure we will. There's no doubt about that. All right, I forgot how to play. Oh, I can solve this now. I couldn't do that earlier. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> All right. Zero, one. A few moments later. I don't know why I was struggling with that. I've done this puzzle already. In other locations, just fine. All right, we got it. Don't worry about it. All right, what are we getting into? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Deke. Hey, let's oh. go. <laughs> Excuse me. We look ah, so fly. There Ooh. you are. We look good. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit. We had a good time know. with Professor Ronan. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? I'm not telling... Oh my gosh. This girl's nosy. Listen, I said this the first episode. I'm saying it again. She's nosy. Nope. <sighs> Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with I mean, some extra I know the Weasleys are nice, but it's not her business. Because I don't want extra work. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now... Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. Let's go, let's go. We've arranged to replace let's the get some butter beer. on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will mm. connect you with the perfect mm -hmm. wand. I wonder how you've wand managed your classes selection well works. With a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. <laughs> I want a good double. My wand's gonna have like quick cast as a vodka dapper the same i'm ready to go. i'm eager to get to hogsmeade i ain't doing Very well. this dialogue i'd no, like sorry. you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate help you get your bearings perhaps sebastian sallow or natsai onai i've noticed you spending time with them i want everett to come with natsai onai i'd like to go with natty excellent choice miss onai is one of our hey. most talented <laughs> students listen and she knows the area. Pretty clear She'll option. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, one of these streams, I'm going to have spiked butterbeer with me. But, uh, Amaretto Sour will do. Uh, what is this guy doing? He's playing with paper birds. You have a new spell paper to teach birds. me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More yeah, frequently than part. one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. 
I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Hard to say. I'll complete I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Let me get to work. Get hey! That was surprisingly well. Get over here. Easy peasy. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Now show me Let the good stuff. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Conduit Whee! of your magic. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with Repair. that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Let's go to Hogsmeade. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, I'm gonna hello. solve it. I'm Lenora. Need some more aesthetics. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Okay. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Hey, listen, we were racking our brains on the spell at the beginning, but... Do you come know. and find Lumos. Stumble on something. Hey, that spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. <sighs> I don't know where that's at. This castle is ginormous. Twisty column and a dude. Okay. This looks like the location from the painting. Uh huh. What okay. could be so special about it? Lumos. Oh, just kidding. The Let's last get one you I back to your frame, little moth. Oh, he's coming with me. Okay, 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 okay. I, <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh, Lenora! Lenora! Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. Yeah. You did? How? Good. Listen, it wasn't that hard. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Yeah. Pity I was it's, so close to That's why you're not it. Ravenclaw, and I am. Knack for solving Yay! riddles. Matty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Hello? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. I'm so glad you to go to Hogsmeade. I cannot wait. Things again. And to see the village. Mm -hmm. I've been looking forward to it. Good. I want Shall some butter up? beer. I, I intend to give you a first beer. rate Hogsmeade mm. experience. Mm. Mm. I want some <laughs> butter beer. I, I want intend some to give you a first beer. rate Hogsmeade mm. experience. Mm. Mm. Dang, I feel like that's only like the second loading screen I've actually like had to watch. Everything transitioned so smoothly. Makes sense. Stepping outside. There goes my hair glitching out again. Every time, every single time. Oh my I was god. Glad Professor Weasley We're outside. You. And I can't wait for Quidditch. I'm telling you, Hogsmeade I'm gonna be a supersonic legend. This time at Quidditch. Year. I'm Everyone gonna retire to Rocket League. Christmas. Become but a that's one pro of the Quidditch few players. Of year, I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? Yeah, so they special. They are interesting to look at. I can take but them. If you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Come on, get on beat. Stole them all. I hope that's okay. I... Is that Draco Malfoy? Ooh. Look. He said. Ooh. I, to them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. That's the forbidden forest on the left. Perfect. It's off limits to students. Bye, Let's go. As the name implies. Let's go. Why is it off limits? 
The professors claim it is too dangerous. It's just crazy. Wow. This is baffling. Before Played large scale games experience. before Assassin's Good. Creed, Black Flag, I Origins, I when Professor Odyssey. That you knew the Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? This dude got swag. Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, well, okay, listen. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. He off that giggle juice, I bruh. Seen him in be like that. Nearly there. There is much to see outside. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any mm. sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Of course, I want to go to Diagon Alley. Enjoy Mr. Ollivanta, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. I haven't heard any you talk of Diagon Alley. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Maybe, uh, Experience uh, hugs me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Oh my... Are you... What? This map is... Re what? I want to go get a wand first. Right across the street. All right. Lavanders. Let's go, let's go. Bruh. Blooming beard. Oh, dust. Again. Merlin's beard. She doesn't exist yet in this time frame. I'll give it I'll to be me. right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh oh, it's me. That's not good. Uh, hello, That's sir. That's not good. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? I of look course that old... you are. Gerbold Ollivanders. Hello, gorgeous. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Yes, please. Mm, Let's do it. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. <laughs> you might do. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Sorry, that was out of pocket. That was out well, of pocket. Go ahead, swish. That thing's sick. Oh. Hmm. I want a refund. You got small, you got me a wish.com. Really <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. put a, put well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No. <laughs> uh, um, put that freaking Amazon wand away, bro. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches. <laughs> Hard string. Jeez. We went from 10 to 13. Woo! That thing's hot. Yeah. Not gonna work. Oh, oh, goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. 16? This is 16 inches? This is trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, ah. <laughs> so there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. This thing's gonna be bland. Take it's it. gonna be a bland wand. <gasps> Ooh, I get the Oh, I get to customize it. Let's go. Alright. A few moments later. Quite bendy. Swishy. Surprisingly swishy. Hard. <laughs> How intriguing. We'll go for <laughs> Listen. We're gonna go for a hard beach, 14 and a half inches. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. There it is. A hard beach, 14 and a half inches with unicorn hair. Bruh. A hard unicorn haired beach, 14 and a half inches. You need a beach. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. No doubt about it. A 
it it might be Toys and Queenies, maybe. <laughs> Not quite. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Good. <laughs> Different. <laughs> I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. I'm a gizzard. Your connection seemed particularly gizzard, powerful. Felix. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm yeah. eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing Mr. you Mr. Thomas Brown. <laughs> I am the proprietor here. Thomas, Thomas Brown's the name. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Thomas Brown. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. Why get the decorate some? For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and a potion. I just want IKEA furniture. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and I brew can afford what you it. want when you want. Let's have a look. I brew what I want when I want. <laughs> let's look at what we have, shall we? <laughs> Listen, I could spend an hour doing Revelio in this city and still not get anything done. Harry Pimpin. Pardon me, sir. Harry Pimpin. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? All right, when do I get butterbeer? Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Merlin's beard. is a fifth year. Beard. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? All right, I want butterbeer. What a bunch of losers. Don't even have real brooms. Who are you swinging at? Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, I I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. Um, what's going on?
I guess it's time for a uh, boss fight out of nowhere. Oh no, I don't know. Oh. Oh no, we're on our own on this one. B to dodge. Oh, finally! I thought I was like the first battle with the knights. I'm like, I can't like duck and roll. Oh, you can't protego that. That okay. Are we making him at all? <laughs> Ooh. I was trying to beat him at his own game. Ooh. 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 No. Ah, heal. No. <laughs> Listen, I'm on the hardest difficulty. Come to some slack. This is like my first major battle. Oh my gosh, this game is like no joke. Woo, mother. Ooh, crazy mother sucker. Okay, okay. Does that stop his attacks every time? Oh, there's one. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Ow. said I could have done for Tego on that too. Interesting. Let me try it. Red can't be dodged, of course. Oh! You good, girl? Alright, slight work, slight work. LBRB to invoke ancient magic. Oh gosh. Oh what a good Oh my god. Might as well be. Are you alright? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. That's crazy. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. Let's if go. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. <sighs> Repair the damage. Listen, it's not my fault. Can we fix it? Um, we'll be on there. Yes, we can. That's broke. Oh, that's broke. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, someone's home insurance covers that. Business insurance. Repair it. I need some. Ah, oh, the builder. We're just talking about you. Let me steal some tea. <sighs> Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. <laughs> but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, thank you. Thank I want you, that. Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. I want some gold-laced robe. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on. Just side, some shall we? You ain't got nothing better than that. I know my gear screen. I don't want to wear that ugly thing. You won't catch me Avada Kedavra in people with my night jammy cap on. <sighs> what an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, yes. have earned at least one butterbeer. Let's go. 
Shall we head to the three broomsticks? <laughs> yes. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I want some fish and chips too. What was suspicious about that? <gasps> this you said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> mm hmm. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Victor Rookwood. It's the moment we get a Vatican I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I? Oh, I don't appreciate my There's poor a face robe. I haven't seen before. Being gone. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. <laughs> Let's Heard about the go. attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, time, then. Hmm. Handle it. Was that Logok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Tell I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come Ooh, now. Listen. No need for theatrics. Take your old I'm raggedy Dollar Tree anyway. outfit out of here. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Let's go. Listen. Step, step on me again. I said, my step friend is busy. Again. One would think you all had Your outfit's trash. One day. The hat, trash. Them shoes, garbage. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Watch me. Oh. You've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Listen, I ain't worried about none. I ain't worried about it. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. I wanted more butter beer. Another day, another dollar. We can go talk about the dueling club. You know, let's go do that. I know word got around that I just beat a troll, so you step in front of me. You got some nerve. Oi! Oi! You help me! Oi! Steve Urkel looking at oh my god. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Bro, go get a fade. Be interested Clean in up that hair, bro. A bit of an adventure. Jesus. Following a treasure map to be precise. What is your hair Slight doing? Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Ask Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Why is Hufflepuff have a look at one? keep making me do all their riddles? They can't do nothing? Like, if you choose Hufflepuff as a house, like, what is your gameplay like right now? Because y'all just making me do everything. I, whatever. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. I can't Hogwarts say no to side quests. I love side me. quests. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. That the reason that you felt the need to tell me that whatever I find is mine is a problem. There's no question about it. 
Where do you suggest I search first? What is this guy in the background hmm. doing? Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair uh, enough. Uh, Hecate's classroom. Meet me back here if you find anything. This is a uh, Hecate. Uh, I gotta go to all three of these places? Bruh. I'm on the right track. Rebellion. Okay. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Leviosa. Nope. Revelio. Nope. Accio. Nope. Uh oh, didn't see that. Bruh. Accio. That uh, there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Dude, that is insane. That is so cool. Wow. I wonder what came of all this. Yeah, that's sick. I'm feeling that. It's a nice change from the, the dark arts set. You okay, sir? Oh, oh, oh. doing that moonwalk. I wish I could avada cadaver you and put you out your misery, but you're on your own. Well, you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! <sighs> Mine went to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Ravelio. Ravioli. Whee! <laughs> what the? Oh, you better. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your mole? Oh, uh, as long as we're oh, early uh, one time. He's we dripping. Uh, plunge, the boy's oh, this boy nasty. But imagine you're sitting the on the toilet. Right? Sitting on the toilet. And a ghost just so I took my comes up right through. Right what do you mean by that? What's going on up here? Oh, they jamming. Okay. Get it. Get it. Go. Get it. You're telling me this little kid's running unsanctioned battles? Oh, Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you. That's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I killed him. We're not gonna just... I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. They already know. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How I'd be the troll. How ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Heck yes. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Natty. The first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, Me and Natty are going to tear it up. Let's do it. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Oh, me and you? Let's go, dude! This dude is cool. Let's not embarrass ourselves. Yeah, keep hiding behind your Protego, bro. Bunch of wimps. Ow. Ow, you little piece of. Okay, okay. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. Okay, we're There's getting used to battling. Ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. I don't like taking hits. Count me in. I shall. We're still learning. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. Ooh. Shaba. I'm glad to see you. It's been nice. And I, you. you. Oh. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. Why are you glitching out? 
It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Yeah, sure. Speaking of the vault, do yeah. you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. Bro, no, what is what I are you guess glitching saying out after like that, what bro? happened to that poor banker, the poor goblins bank. at Gringotts are no Textures followers aren't loading of in. Ranrock. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once be you've heard your defensive prepared. magic further, come and see me. Ah, nice to be back up here. Just a gorgeous common room. I did the editing of part one of Starcross Lizards gameplay, and the Slytherin common room is dingy, bro. It is dark. You can't no color, no light. Look at this room. Gorgeous. Perfect. I appreciate anyone that stopped by. Peace.